So this video is going to show you how to set up your billing details, whether you decide to use a credit card, debit card, or set up a direct debit, I'll talk you through how to set that up with Xpend so that you can continue to use our platform. So first of all, log in to your account with Xpend and click down on the left-hand side, click on settings. Now you'll see that there is a tab called billing. So select that. And in this tab, you'll be able to see a few different things. Top left here, you'll be able to see the outstanding balance, so the amount that you're due to pay in your next bill. On the right hand side, you'll see your latest bill as well, your previous bill. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to insert an email address that you would like new invoices to be sent to when they're ready. And you can also see at the bottom here any previous invoices and whether they've been paid or not. And if you ever need another copy, just click download on the right hand side and it will download as a PDF for you. So to set up the payment method, click the black button here that says payment method and you have the two options. So if we select credit or debit card, this is the most popular way to pay. Now enter the name on your card and then enter the billing address. So make sure that this billing address that you enter does match the card details registered. At the bottom, enter the card number, the expiry date and the CVC code. And you have the option to make it your default payment method by turning on the toggle at the bottom. Click on to add card and that's it, that's all done. The other option is to pay by direct debit. So you can select direct debit from the two options and it will take you onto a slightly different screen here. Now it will pre-populate with your company name. So if you're using bank account details that aren't registered to your company name, then do make sure you change it here. Enter the sort code and account number, enter the billing address postcode, and then you'll be able to select the full address from a drop down list. Just double check your email address is correct and scroll down and click on to set up direct debit, the big green button at the bottom. Now on the rare occasion that more than one person is required to authorize direct debits on the account, you can tick this box here. And what that will do is it will send you an email with a form that you will need to print out and um, any authorized people will need to sign that and send that back. So the majority of businesses don't don't need this. Um, so in that case, you will just enter your details, skip that box, and then cl click on to set up direct debit on the bottom there. And that's it. That's all done. If you have any other questions, do let us know. Thank you.